Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I'm going to do 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 8 by 10 acrylic pours, like really fast. I've got a class, three classes in Asheville in less than two weeks, and we're going to do acrylic pours with intention on a big canvas, and then we're going to embellish a dried acrylic pour. And because we don't have time to let them do a pour and let it dry on a smaller canvas, I'm going to have them pre-poured and cured and ready to paint on when they get there. So I'm going to show you. I've mixed this last color, which seems to be a really pretty good consistency. It's paint to Floetrol, one-to-one, latex-based blood Floetrol. I'm going to put one more little dribble of water just to get it a little bit more fluid. So when you let the, the paint pour off your stick, it needs to come off in a steady stream like, say, melted ice cream would be a good term. I'm going to put one drop of OGX. I didn't push the pump down all the way. I just put one drop. That's OGX Coconut Milk Anti-Breakage Hair Serum, a very specific product that has dimethicone as the first ingredient. Give it a few stirs and that's all we need. So I've got lime green, green, got some yellow, these are some older, I'm going to add water to this one, these are some older paints, I mixed the green recently. And I've got kind of a lake sky blue. I've got a nice deep turquoise that looks pretty. I've got a real dark forest green color. I have a little Prussian blue, basically. I'm going to add just a little water to that. My water has a little bit of Floetrol if it comes out kind of milky looking. That's why, because I put about 10% Floetrol to the rest of it water. Here is some primary blue. I'm going to add water. That one's thickened up a bit. I've got some white in a cup as well. And I think that will just about do it. I've got some brown. I think I'll add the brown as well. I'm trying to get pretty much natural earth colors because what we're going to do is we're going to probably paint either a flower or a butterfly on top of a pour. So I want, I did like the last video, I did six swipes and it was just kind of paints that were left over, kind of in the green tones. So that I, I want this to mostly feel green, but have some accents of color in it. So again, I've got white as well, and uh, just making sure it's a good consistency. And I'm pouring on 8x10 canvases, so I don't need a lot of paint. So I think what I'm going to do is just use one little cup and just keep adding paint to it for each canvas. So here's my 8x10 canvas. And um, green is always really powerful in an acrylic pour anyway. So just keep that in mind when you're doing pours. And I'm just going to let these be dirty pours. I'm not going to try to swipe them. This will just be more fun to just kind of do a traditional Dirty pour. I can't really remember what I've used, but anyway. I'm just using a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay? So, I think that'll be good. I'm going to turn it over. I'm not going to be real patient with this. I'm going to do these kind of quickly. I will heat it just to get rid of air bubbles, but I'm just going to kind of do 
one right after the other. I'm going to put this one over here. Do another one. Skip around on the colors a bit just so they're not all the same. I don't even know if I put brown in the last one. Putting, well, I did put some white in there on the last one. Just going to flip them and go. Some may have more blue, some may have more green. It doesn't really matter. So, I'll heat that one really fast, let the air bubbles pop. and You just need to give OGX a few minutes if you're just patient. You see how the cells grow, and some of these paints have sat for well over a week. So I'm just going to basically get the paint to go to most of the edges before I tilt off. I can even let these go from one canvas to the next if I need to. See a lump? some of these paints have sat. I may have an occasional lump in them too. You can even uh, dip these. That would be fun too. I'm just going to speed through these. I'm not going to talk so I can speed the video up and you won't have to wait long periods of time between.
Okay, I'm done, and I did 13 8 by 10s in about an hour, so as quickly as I could. So they're drying, and I'll show you pictures at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are not a subscriber, please uh, consider subscribing. And if you click on the bell in the bottom right, you'll get notified when I post new videos. Check out the links below the video where it says show more on your laptop or the down arrow on the mobile device. And you can find my Amazon recommendations, my Facebook group, my uh, Patreon page, PayPal, if you would like to leave a donation for me. It's always greatly, greatly appreciated. I love you all, and I hope you have a fabulous week. Don't forget to check out my Thinkific platform where I'm teaching online classes now if you want to learn how to paint with acrylics traditionally and brushes. That's the place to look for the classes. They're $35, and uh, we have s some fabulous classes that are so much fun. So check that out and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.